Uh, this is one of my crazier ideas um, that I'm going to show you today. We're starting off with this beautiful Carmen Ghia. I actually bought a Carmen Ghia body. Not nearly as beautiful. But what we're going to do is um, take this body, cut it up to make it fit on an SLK chassis. Uh, several reasons I want to do this. Number one, I've always liked um, the 300 SL, 190 SL. Of course, the prices on those have gone crazy. Even a replica is really expensive. So I'm going to set a challenge for myself. I bought the body for $800. <clears throat> I should be able to find an SLK for not too much. So my goal is to build a 1950s German supercar like the 300 SL for less than $5,000. So let's play around a little bit. And of course the Carmen Ghia, the body, is very forward because the motor is in the, the rear. So let's play around and see what happens when we... I'm just going to shift this back a little bit. Okay, and we're going to maintain the uh, uh, rear fender area. So that's our first cut. We're going to go again. Shift it even farther back this time. We're going to keep, um, we're going to move that rear trunk area back as well. So we're maintaining this rear trunk is going to stay intact. I'll be able to use the rear tr trunk lid. Um, Clean it up a little bit. The places I'm deciding to cut, I'm trying to keep them fairly consistent with uh, on flat areas so that when I'm welding metal to fill in the spot, it will uh, be a little bit better. Um, not having to do the compound curves. Now I am not going to run bumpers. The, uh, I got a 1974, and honestly, on the 300 SLs that I like the most, they're more of an outlaw style, and they do not have bumpers, so that's how I'm going to run mine, is not having bumpers. It'll save a little bit of expense, too, because the bumpers that I do have... Are hideous on the 74. I'm not a fan of them at all. The um, 
SLK is about three to three and a half inches wider than um, the Carmen Ghia. So I'll have to widen the fender slightly. Okay, so there's the beginning of it. Now I am going to change, because I'm going to widen the fingers, I am going to change the wheel opening. I'm not... Let's get a little bit darker. I go with a round or round wheel opening. Not keeping these wheels, but just for the effect, real quick. And I'm going to open up the front as well. And I really do like the black. I think I am going to try to stick with black on my paint job if I can get it, the bodywork clean enough. Okay, so there's the basic of it. <clears throat> and let's just play around real quick. I want to kind of get a little idea here. Recording this with this program for y'all to be able to see where I'm drawing. There is a, uh, a little white dot keeps me from really seeing what I'm doing quite as well so this is a little bit hard but we'll make it work the angles a little bit different and I didn't cut very well but you can kind of get an idea and the wheelbase is slightly different but the Carmen Ghia and the um, wheelbase on the SLK is exactly the same, so there won't be any problems there. Let's see if I... Well, it's no one to tilt. I didn't mask very well, but you kind of get the idea. If my measurements are right, it's very close. Let's get rid of that. And let's change the wheels. I'm going to probably run steelies. Um, now, I'm not a crazy about like really big wheels on a vintage car. The problem with um, these uh, SLK has bigger brakes, so it requires at least a 16 inch wheel as far as I can tell. So, we'll make them a little bit bigger. They'll go from a, a 15 to a 16. Shouldn't be too bad. And that's going to be the basics of it. I think I'm <clears throat> probably going to add 
some kind of vent. Down here. Yeah, I didn't get this straight, did I? It's gonna bug me. I'm not the artist. No, you get the idea. I have a on this break. But that is the plan so we'll see how it goes i already got the like i said the carmen Ghia body i'm uh, hunting an slk right now um, i'm hoping to get a one with a manual transmission um, that kind of limits me a little bit because they didn't make very many of the uh, 3.2 liter v6 in a manual transmission the uh, little smaller four cylinder that has the supercharger um, they're a lot much more common and that's probably what I'm going to end up with. So anyway, um, just wanted to share my idea and, uh, let you know how crazy I, I'm thinking right now. <laughs>